Sorry for the bad lighting here, but uh, I just wanted to discuss, or well, since it's not a two-way here, I guess I just wanted to express some thoughts here. Um, recently, I was presented with an interesting perspective on belief, and I just wanted to make a few comments about it. But it was somebody who visited one of my videos and engaged in a uh, conversation in the in the comment section of that video and <clears throat> as part of the discussion one of the things he said was this and I quote critical thought does not eliminate belief on the contrary critical thought is used to construct belief now, I thought this was a very interesting perspective on belief and it kind of shed light on the different interpretations that people have about different words um, especially about the, the word belief. Now I fundamentally um, disagree with this comment because of my interpretation of the word belief. And when I look up the word belief it does not contradict what my interpretation is of it from at least my perspective. My <clears throat> interpretation of belief is basically the, the definition of belief is um, by the way I'm trying to adjust my microphone audio here I can't find the option anyway so I think it, I'm clipping the the input there so hopefully my audio is not bad but anyway belief in my interpretation or at least as it's defined states that it is an assertion that something is true now there's nothing to put that into context so there's nothing around that to suggest that belief requires any evidence or any supporting material to back it up at all it's just an assertion that something is true now in this discussion this guy asserted that I was essentially choosing a belief I commented that I looked at my beliefs using critical thought and eliminated those beliefs as a result his assertion was that I replaced my previous belief with a new belief that being that I believed my previous belief was wrong and that's just not the case that's just not how it works with me if you look at the definition of belief it says it's an assertion that something is true well my interpretation of the word true is an absolute because true is a is a logical term you have you have true and false and there's it's black and white there's no in between when you're talking about logic just pure logic so true is an absolute there <clears throat> but it has been my conclusion if I have come to any conclusion at all on anything and everything that I've examined in my life it is that I can be absolutely certain about nothing take gravity for instance <clears throat> we know about gravity um, so if I take this pen and I hold it up and I let go of it my expectation is and my experience has always been that it will fall so if I let go it drops well there's a number of things happening there my idea my concept of falling is a direct result of having observed the effects of gravity so we have this idea of things falling that they, they travel in this direction by themselves and it's in this direction in relation to the my current orientation and my orientation is usually vertical in respect to the Earth's surface because it's the Earth that is exerting the force on me and everything else that's holding me on the surface. So we have this concept of up and down and of falling and dropping and down and <clears throat> well I said down, up and down, based on our experience with gravity. These are all concepts that we have built based upon our observations. Now we could state that these are truths that it's true that if I let go of this pen it will drop but that's within the context within which I'm familiar 
I don't see that as an absolute truth because I don't have the infinite capacity to perform an infinite number of experience, experiments to find if there's an exception to this rule. It has never failed in any experiments that if you let go of something, it will fall. Things fall toward the, the Earth because that's the body that is exerting this gravitational field that draws everything to it. We have that understanding. I call that knowledge. Knowledge is an understanding of things. It's not a belief. A belief is something that you have that states with unconditional certainty that something is true. But there might be a condition, say, if you have two objects of the same size, two planets, and you bring them in close proximity to each other, if you could, and if you could sit right in between them, well, that would be a situation where if you let go of the pen, you don't, you wouldn't know which direction it was going to fall, if it would fall at all. Because you are under the influence now of two gravitational fields, but they're all, they're both pulling on you at exactly the same amount, same strength, because they're the same size and mass bodies on either side of you, and you're exactly in between, you wouldn't fall one way or the other. Or, you know, if you got closer to one than the other, you'd start to move that way. Your idea and your concept of what's up and what's down changes because it's all relative to something else. And in that case, I'm still under the, the influence of a gravitational field, in fact, two of them, yet when I let go of the pen, it doesn't fall. So there's an exception right there. So I can't say that something is true. I can't have a belief about something out of context. And every example that I've looked at, everything that I've examined in my life usually began with a belief and ended with a non-belief. I have eliminated my beliefs based on critical thought. I have not created new ones. I have not chosen a new belief. If you follow the assertion that I must choose a belief, if I must make a choice between beliefs, then for me to say I have no belief in God would mean that I am saying that I believe there is no God, and that's just not the case. There is a middle ground there called I don't know, and I am quite fine with that because I know from examining everything that I've examined in my life that I can't know anything with absolute certainty. So I don't have beliefs anymore. I make suppositions, I make, you know, I can base my expectations on certain assumptions, and I have knowledge about things, but I understand that that's all contextual, and that can change with new experiences, with new, uh, new knowledge, new information in the mix. So I don't have a belief one way or the other, and following this assertion that you know, I'm repl essentially replacing a belief with another one. If that were true, then I would have to have infinite number of beliefs about everything in this universe because everything presented to me would require that I choose one belief or another. And that's just not the way I operate. Anyway, I, I think I kind of rambled here and repeated myself. I don't know if I really conveyed myself adequately. I kind of had this worked out in my mind previously, and I thought I did a better job offline, but hopefully I got my my point across here, but I mean, effectively, it all comes down to an interpretation of, of words, I guess, because truth in my mind is, an, absolute, is an, an assertion of absolute certainty. Knowledge is a collection of facts and information that build understanding and assumptions about the way things work, and it's not to absolute certainty. I know I don't know everything about everything. Nobody does. And I'm able to now approach things without limiting myself to a belief about that. Because every time I look at things that I do know and feel like I believe there are absolute truths, I find out something new about them. So I do not have a perspective that is based or rooted in belief. And I do not, certainly do not, by any stretch of anyone's imagination, form new beliefs to replace old ones just because I examine it and find out that it's not correct with the context within which I'm looking at it. So anyway, that's my perspective. And I've rambled on long enough, so I'll review this, and if I don't like it, I'll delete it and redo it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.